Hi, I'm Mrs. Woods. Today the lessons on 2.04 We Can Make a Difference. Um, so in, in 1787, enslaved persons were considered property, not citizens. The delegates debated whether enslaved persons should be counted when determining their position in the Congress when um, the total population of the state. The Southerners wanted enslaved persons not to be counted to be counted for, so that their states could have more representative, but Northerners were worried that Southerners could buy, buy more enslaved persons to increase their representation in Congress. Um, many of the farmers of the Constitution, Northerners in particular, wanted to end slavery. Um, slaveholders in the South wanted the slave trade to continue so they could use slave labor to harvest, build money, crops such as tobacco. Um, so no kings. The farmers decided that the farmers also had to decide how to organize the executive branch. No one wanted a king because they know how it was with King George, so they no. And having just escaped the British king, they agreed that the executive power powers would be vested in one person, the president of the United States. So that's how that came about. However, the president would not inherit control like a king, the nation would choose a new president. So um, we learned about how they wanted no kings, but also about slave right now. Um, they, um, the northerners in particular did not want slave slaves because they just, I felt like that they didn't feel like it was right. And they also were worried about how the southerners would control having more enslaved people to get more representation in the Congress. But overall, we learned about slave and the how it was chosen to have a president. Bye.